the cigarette up and then hobble off into the alleyway covered in smoke like the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Co what? Alleyway covered in smoke like the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Oh my. Oh. It seems like it's been a week of rarities. Rare moments, rare freestyles, rare clips. But we wouldn't cover the ultimate trifecta if we didn't do rare interviews too. Mm-hmm. Rare interviews too. And I ain't talking who made uh, Banjo-Kazooie. That's a bar. They ain't peep that. They ain't peep that. They ain't peep that bar. Shout out to all my gamers. Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I want to start this off by saying Thank you guys for being the greatest fan base there is out there. We up to 45,000 subscribers now. 4-5K, man. The 4-5, you know what I mean? The 4-5 can blow ones high. You know what it is. The 40, you know what I mean? The 40 on. So, before I start this, got a rare Eminem uh, interview. Um, this is the interview that dropped before the Slim Shady LP dropped. This is kind of what made M big. I'm not saying this interview did, but there's these kind of moments. These are the things that made Eminem a legend. And it's crazy, because I, I like to pick an artist's brain and see where he was at that time mentally and what was he talking about? What was he doing? But before I start, the quote for the next 24 hours is, 24 hours from greatness, I'm that close. That's all I can tell y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, 24 hours from greatness, I'm that close. Now y'all can sit there and debate what that means in the comment sections and the discords, whatever, do that. That's what I wanna say. But just know, 24 hours from now, wait, 24 hours from now, what time is it? It's eight, it's eight Eastern. So it's seven where I'm at. Oh yeah, 24 hours from now, exactly. I'm gonna be embarking on some things, man. Shout out to everybody who donated on the last live stream. Uh, you still got, um, and I, I gotta say this again. I gotta say this again. The thing that I'm doing is only for the people who donate on the live stream. If you donate outside of the live stream, if you missed the live stream, I'm sorry, but it's the point of it isn't the point of what I'm doing isn't just to give this to anybody. The point is to give it to the people who come to the live streams and donate. If you missed it, like I said, I'm sorry, but that's just what it's gonna be. You have one more chance, one more live stream to uh, 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 donate and receive this thing. But if you donate outside of the live streams, you miss the live streams for whatever reason. That's just it. Uh, you just you just have to, you know what I mean? Just have to miss out on this one. It's a, it's a specific thing. So it don't really even matter if we like super close or whatever, whatever. It is for the people who are the live streams, period. Or donate during the live stream. So even if you miss a live stream, you know what time the live streams be. So donate at that time. So then maybe I won't know you're not in the live stream. And just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to help y'all out. But if it's not on the, if I got your do donation, because there's people who donated and I have to tell them like, yo, that's not, it's not going to work. But here we go. Eminem's 1999 rare interview before the release of Slim Shady. Oh, 24 hours from greatness. I'm that close. Hit that thumbs up button, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why veins be bulging out my neck when I talk. I'm not even like stressing. Anyway, ready? Set 24 hours from greatness. Go. Okay, Giddy Imlis. Welcome back to New York's number one video music box on Ray Dijon. We in the house. Uh, the We're video music right box. Now. Remember the album is coming soon. Two twenty three ninety nine. That's. Funny. Hold on, let me stop right here. I didn't even, I didn't know exactly what dates the Slim Shady uh, LP came out in. Uh, but it's crazy to think that it was a month from today, almost. <laughs> It'll be, what, how old? 
20 years old around there a month from a month and some days a month and some change from today is literally when the album drops so that's kind of yeah, man it's kind of crazy but it's crazy to see where Em was at the video music box it's crazy to see the whole slim shady lp marketing stuff the high my name is to know where this went is insanity because at this moment Em has no idea what this is gonna do this dude interviewing him though has no idea I didn't even know they were still doing video music box in 1999. Ready, set, go. Slimberry, the Slim Shady LP. The Slim Shady LP. Classic. Different for hip hop as we continue to, you know, make new waves. Who is the uh, person doing the interview? The and I apologize for being I'm super quiet. I might turn it up, but I'll try to. In the tri-state area. Now coming back. Um, Hi, my name is. How'd you come up with that? Ah. <laughs> I figured, like, my name... Hold on. It's super crazy. I'm Like I always say, I don't got to keep quantifying it, but I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd. When it comes to video games, when it comes to movies, especially superhero movies, and when it comes to hip-hop, I'm a nerd. So my, in my nerd brain, sitting back and watching Eminem talk about how he thought of my name is and somebody questioning that is so crazy to me because i just always think back like man did he know how much records he was going to sell did he know in 2018 he would be one of the highest selling artists of all time did he know that he was going to change the game did drano drano get it drano unclogged pipes i don't know ready set go was and then i came up with it <laughs> Now Dre, like that was it was really ill because the first the first um the first day me and uh -huh. Dre got down together we did we did three songs and my name is was the second song. I wonder what did. those three songs were. And we was in Other there two. It was like he 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 played me the beat and it was like instantly I just started saying it like okay. you know and the beat started talking to me like hi and my name like I started like doing the hook and he looked at me kind of funny like you think he was that as a hook? Yeah. Hold on, we gonna pause it right there. I, dog, this is the reason why this should be so dope to watch. Cause it's like, dang, so Dre didn't like the My Name Is hook off tops? Could you imagine if Dre would have looked at Em and said, like, if Dre would have been like other uh, 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 music producers or if Dre would have been like a, 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 a D-head label owner, and if he would have said, uh, nah, we ain't gonna go with that one. Change it up. Do you know how crazy and how much history would have been changed forever? That's crazy. But he said, go. You know, I was like, and I was, the more I started saying it, the engineers in the studio started saying it. It catches you know on. It's a catchy like, hook, oh, man. Hi, my name is, my name is. And I was like, yo, that's him right there. So I just went in and like freestyled some verses. And then um, I hadn't had him wrote yet. And just went home that same night and just wrote him and then came back the next day. Came back and just laid okay. it down as the hook. And it's interesting because the hook in most cases of a song is like really the most important Facts. part of the song right. at times because it kind of stays in people's mind because right that now, is a hook that grows on new york city and connecticut and new jersey right now as far as i'm i know you know walking around and interacting with people in the industry and everybody is you know really hung on that hook hi my name is uh to the point where we're hearing it on radio yeah and uh that's uh, crazy kind of including it uh, like, you know, the young artists coming up when I do the talent showcases, they're including that in their own lyrics. Uh, yeah, which is which is uh, a really good crazy. thing. That's How about crazy. coming out of that's Detroit? That's crazy. To Detroit, Michigan is a big city, just like New York. Um, living in Detroit. How'd you actually, like, get started? Be tweezy! Just, um... Just listening to the music. That's how you know this shot on the VHS. You nine see the little... Old. It's when I heard my first rap song. I heard Ice-T Reckless Club. Like, I was just, like, fascinated by, like, everything. Like, all of my friends, I had older cousins. They were, he always says they were Ice-T was an inspiration, like too. That, you know? And, um, you know, just, like, growing up on the music, you know? Um, just loving it. Just wanting to, wanting to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, listening to... Like, <laughs> Hoop earring Eminem. What an era. Like, LF, my name is... Now, we ain't gonna watch this whole thing. Oh, damn, I guess we did watch the whole thing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that is crazy to watch, and that's crazy to see. So that was basically a him interviewing and talking about my name is, really. And it's isn't it crazy to think that how different history could be? 
So Dre didn't like my name as Hook at first. And it's weird because you can say now like, oh yeah, that's a dope hook, man. I would have known that was a dope. But would you have known it the first time you heard it? Sometimes it takes a hook a few times to catch on. But I'm going to tell you right now that, hi, my name is, my name is, my name is Chica Chica Slim Shady was, was such a famous hook in 1999 and the early 2000s that like literally people were parodying it and all this stuff. So you got to think, the Slim Shady LP was M's first major release. And that did very, 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 very well. But I'm sitting here looking back at some of this stuff like, did they know what they had? Did they know what they created? It would be crazy to think they did. Odds are they had no idea. And even if you watch some of Dr. Dre's interviews and some other things, he seemed to be the only person or one of the only people that really believed in Eminem, believed that M could do it the way he did. I remember uh, Dre saying, I can't remember what uh, what interview where he was talking about. Um, people were like, yo, just give it up, bro. Just give it up. But Dre don't do that. He got the Midas touch. Stop playing. Ladies and gentlemen, put a comment below what you think about this interview. Is it crazy seeing M, young M, right before his first major release? It's crazy, I think, anytime you get the chance to witness an artist before, right before that moment where it all clicks. Where you've been doing it for years and years and years in different ways, but then there's just that one moment, everything. And speaking of that, y'all may, y'all may be witnessing that right now, man. 24 hours to greatness. I'm that close. I'm gonna put it on all my social medias. I'm gonna put it on everything. The next few days, I'm going to be real cryptic. It ain't got nothing to do. I ain't going to say that. I'm going to let y'all minds wander. I'm going to be real cryptic in the next few days, huh? Put in the comment section if you think you know what it is. Go ahead and guess. I want to see I want to see what y'all guessing skills like. What y'all think is going to happen in the next 48 hours. I, I, I'm not going to say 24 because 24 is when it's going to start. The next 48 hours is when it should be, you know, ready to go. Not ready to go, but like. What do you think is going to happen in the next 48 hours? s &J Nation, thank you guys for rocking with me for as long as you've rocked with me. Thank you guys for uh, 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 being the best fan base ever. Shout out to everybody who donates, especially this month. You know what I mean? Thank you guys so much. My name is Screw. I'm pretty freaking awesome. But I won't be anything without you. s &J Nation. Now, you know it's serious when I do the classic outro. You know something going down. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs>